Recently, I've been wondering if the sole reason for poor album sales nowadays is the streaming availability that brings forth the unnecessary nature of CDs or other physical forms of packaging for music products, except of course for vinyls. Previously, we didn't have that much music available to us, especially in terms of the immediacy of streaming and this emphasis on the release of singles and their power. In this video, I want to talk about maximizing the value of the product for the consumer, for them to actually see a reason to purchase a physical album in this day and age. What is offered now? Physical albums in general are really nice to have, especially if you really like the artist who created the product. However, in the recent years, the albums don't really have any real reason to exist in a CD form anymore. We'll get back to the quality of the sound itself later on. I personally want to have a physical product to enjoy, a type of product that has to do with the album, its aesthetic and its visual manifestation, and simple jewel case packaging just won't do. It could be argued that music is just about music, which is true to an extent, but CDs don't really offer that much of a difference in terms of quality anymore to compare to what you could potentially get online or what you could get by buying something like a vinyl. But even vinyl packaging needs to step up, to be honest. All of this begs the question, how do artists support themselves? If their music doesn't sell as well anymore, which doesn't really pay that much or that well, especially if you're not a super popular artist. What do you appreciate about music? When asking ourselves that question, we have to keep in mind that technically, we are asking a question about the value of art in general. Mostly because music and its distribution is not going to be a singular medium affair as it was before the age of television. There are plenty of people who don't see any value in all the other things that come with the project, um, a musical project at that. But I think that not creating this three-dimensional world of artistic expression is a missed opportunity for oneself as an artist and as someone who pays their bills by growing and retaining a following. As an artist, being able to collaborate with others or even create visual or written materials on your own is a unique opportunity to self-expression and building your project to what it's supposed to be. And what it's supposed to be is worthwhile. This is of course just my opinion. What can be done to make purchasing albums more engaging and worth it. As I've stated before, creating a more multi-dimensional project would be a way of offering more value and more points of engagement to the audience. There are many ways of doing this. It's just another creative part of the project that you can experiment with. However, for this video, I decided to compare albums from the West. Um, all of them are either American or British, basically Anglophone, to some albums from the East which both of the albums that I have right now are Korean albums. Both artists are going to be having representation in CD form in a more or less similar price point range. It's not going to be crazy uh, over-the-top packaging that some Korean artists do, which the packaging is great, but the, the examples that I have are not on that crazy level of like 50 to 90 dollar range or something like that or like a special edition they are just regular cds and what is expected as like a bottom level not bottom level in terms of quality but in terms of this is what is expected from an artist there by the way the the prices i'll be referencing are gonna be in Canadian dollars and they're not going to include like shipping and taxes in them. The reason for not including shipping in the cost for Eastern albums is due to the fact that if these musicians were local, I wouldn't have to pay for uh, crazy shipping or any customs or anything like that, so we're not going to account for it. We're going to start with the first point I wanna make, that CDs on their own have almost no value nowadays. You might disagree, but that's just my opinion. Second point, even though one is definitely offering more than the other, I think that price points should be knocked down a little bit anyway, uh, but I might be wrong on that. I don't know how pricing of albums works in terms of like how people decide what kind of markup they're gonna put on it, but for most of them I think that they could lose like two dollars off the top to just make it a little bit more accessible. Now let's compare. It's so hot in here. 
Side note, the artists are not really similar at all, so focus on the physical product. I have three examples of Western albums here that are quite standard packaging for our CDs. Let's look. First of all, it's gonna be Foster the People. Price, 1075 Canadian. And let's look inside. So what we get is a CD. There's a bit of a thank you under it and a lyric book. The lyrics can be found online. Same with the music. And there is no art from the band or any notes or descriptions of anything in it. So let's look at a second one, which is by Fun, Some Nights great album and inside what we get is again a lyric book very small just a little flip out booklet and a cd the price of this one is 12 canadian dollars now the last one i have here to show is pink and her truth about love album the cd a little lyric book the lyric book is a bit better than the other two, that's for sure. The images here, the graphic design is definitely a step up from the other two. I love that there is a little letter at the end for the fans, but that's what we basically get from this album. The price is $11. So there's very little reason to buy any of this. Even if you are a diehard fan, there's really nothing here that you couldn't get on your Spotify or anything like that. I know that the quality on CDs is always a bit higher than what you can get online, but in general, even a person with a very trained ear would have a hard time differentiating the quality, mostly because this is not the type of music that requires this kind of quality it's more about the melodies in most of this the production of course but the production is bombastic enough that it would be heard on any type of headphones of course the better f headphones would offer better quality but in any case the online versions would be just fine especially if you get something something that is higher quality on websites like bandcamp and stuff like that where some bands offer higher quality quality of music on the cd sidebar technically cds can have more audio information conveyed through the tracks but the difference can only be heard in the ideal environment with great equipment to listen to it on. So it is not worth mentioning in most cases because the difference is negligible. Now let's look at the two albums I have from Rita. The first one I have right here is Red Velvet and their repackaged album, Bad Boy. Their original album without the extra tracks still looks very similar in terms of the packaging. It has a photo book and it has the jewel case CD. Repackage doesn't mean that it's very different in terms of the quality or the value that is offered in this case at least. So what we get here is a jewel case with CD. I kind of love the CD to be honest. And we get a little lyric book, which is stylized in a really nice way. It's more in the same lane as Pink and her lyric book, which is great because I think they look really nice and they fit really well into the jewel case. So a photo book, which is a really nice little book that contains a bunch of photos from the photo shoot or photos in the same style, aesthetic or concept of the video for their main single which i think is a great idea in general because if you really like what they have offered here you would enjoy a little booklet like that with your cd to just even i don't know flip through and get inspired by the outfits or whatever and there's also a little card which is good for people who are collectors you know you can get more people to buy more things because they want to collect all members or all variations of the card whoever was the art director on this they should get a raise this packaging is not even one of the most extravagant ones that are available in korea for different types of bands um but i really like the concept of this i think this is a great looking girl group album like isn't doesn't this look like such a like nice r&b album it just makes you think that it's nice r&b even if you haven't listened to the songs which is fantastic <laughs> now on to the next one jenny from blackpink and her solo solo <laughs> a steep price for a single but the physical product itself makes sense for me for the price i mean it would be nice if it was knocked down at least like two dollars or something but in any case it's still a cute book and it's Good quality. This is an example of creating value that shows multiple points of interest. If you like fashion photography, you'd be into this. 
if you like fashion on its own. If you're into concept of the video of this song, you'd like this physical extension of the video in the form of a pretty little photobook. It would be something graphic designers would also be into. Once again, this is not necessarily an example of the best value per album or the best packaging, as much as it is an example of what is usually expected from a CD packaging in their market. I've had many conversations about this with people and something that offering this type of value per album would drive up sales. Some people say that it doesn't matter to them, but in my opinion, for example, if Frank Ocean had photo books or other little things in his physical copies of albums, I would definitely buy both Blonde and Channel Orange, like for sure. Just for the sake of having it because he has a very strong visual language with his music and just because I really like those albums. Same goes for artists like Dua Lipa and her latest album Future Nostalgia which is great in terms of even the production and visual materials being tied together in a way that works for our time with a nod to the past looking into the future. Same thing goes for The Weeknd for example in his latest album that had a lot of like strong visual language as well. I would definitely would have gotten his album just for the sake of having that little photo book and enjoying it and getting inspired by it to do my other work, my designer work or whatever it is, you know? Of course they have merch available, but I don't think merch is the same as a concept photo book or like thoughts on the process of making the album or notes on the lyrics. Also, like as a side note, we might come, come back to that later, but merch definitely needs to be better. Um, a lot of the materials that they use, it, they're terrible and they don't last. So it's not a great value for people in terms of even the ecological footprint that it brings forth with the amount of sales that they have off the set merch that is not even gonna last people as, like I don't know a season of wear and of course the way that it just sits on everyone it's just not the greatest in general they should really reconsider who they're working with in terms of their merch regardless of sales if your album had a lot of imagery for music videos or if you can compile a little something something about how the project was created for the fans of the music I think you should include it in the physical packaging because it shows that you care for the fans who went that extra step to support you and got your CD. You are showing a little bit of a thank you in the form of adding extra value to the product that sometimes or most of the time doesn't have anything to make the purchase worthwhile. This has been another artist manager episode. It's a bit loud here today so this might be if there's some kind of noise in the background I'm sorry but in any case I'll see you next time. Tell me what you think. Subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. <laughs> Bye.